Hello, this is a video on how to play Emperor. Now, Emperor is a one player solitary game, um, and you will need two 52 card decks. And so, um, what you do is you shuffle the two decks together. You lay out a row of 10 cards face down. Add two rows of face down cards on the first row. So we have a row of 10 cards face down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we lay two more rows of face down cards on top of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In this case, these two cards are flipped up because we already put the aces there. But before, because we had aces here, and then we lift the aces, and then we flipped these two cards up. However, assuming that we did not put these aces there, then the two cards would be flipped down, like so. So we have our first row. And then two more rows of face down cards on top of the first row. The fourth row of cards are placed face up on the current stacks. Face up. Now, the remaining deck. So the fourth row of cards, you're going to place the fourth row of cards and they're placed face up on the current rows. So you're going to have four rows of cards total, ten cards in each row. Each row is placed, the first three rows are placed face down, the fourth row is placed face up. The remaining deck is kept below, right here, the row layout. The objective of the game is to move all the cards into the foundation piles. There will be eight foundation piles above the row layout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each foundation pile starts with an ace and then climbs up to a king. Each pile has to be in the same suit. During the game, cards can move around in three ways. A card can be moved to a foundation pile, like so. Cards can be stacked within the layout rows if the card being moved is one rank. Cards can be stacked within the layout rows if the card being moved is one rank lower and of the opposite color. For example, if we move this black 8 onto this red 9, it is one rank lower and of the opposite color. The top card of the waste deck is flipped over and it forms a waste pile. A card that is flipped up from the deck can be played onto the layout or onto a foundation pile whenever possible. In this case we can't really do anything because the jack is one lower than the 10. If we had a jack then we could play a 10 on it. If a face down card in the layout becomes open, it is flipped up. So, once again, what are the three ways you can move a card to a foundation? So, three ways you can move a card are by moving a card to a foundation pile, by stacking a card if it is one rank lower and of the opposite color, and um, by moving a card from the waste pile here um, onto either the foundation pile or in your rows if it is one rank lower and of the opposite color. And once again, if you move a card from your rows, then a face down card becomes open and it is flipped up. A player will continue to move cards to foundation piles, move cards within the layout, or move cards from the deck. If a player is able to move all the cards into the foundation piles, the game is won. So if you can get all of these cards and all of these cards here, into these eight foundation piles, the game is won. If a player gets stuck with no moves available, the game is lost. If an open space becomes available within the layout, any card can fill the open space. And so if we get rid of these two cards right here, then we can take any one of these cards and or this card right here and simply place it in that open space, starting a new column. Only one card can be moved at a time. The top card of the waste pile can always be moved if possible. Turn the waste pile back into your deck when the deck runs out. And so let's just go through a quick demo of the game. It's relatively simple. In order to open up this card right here, we're going to move the black 9 onto the red 10. We're going to move the red 7 onto the black 8. Notice that we cannot move it onto the red 8. 
This is because they are not the opposite color. Not only does the card have to be one rank lower, it also has to be of the opposite color. Um, in this case, it does not seem like we can make any moves here. And so what we will do is we will flip up a card. Flip up another card. A red five. Nope, cannot be used. A red nine cannot be used. I mean, a black nine cannot be used. A black 10 cannot be used. Black 9 right now cannot be used because there is no card um, where the black, there's no red 10 or, and it cannot be placed in the foundation pile because we are looking for a 2. A red 3 can be placed under the black 4. A red 7 can be placed under a black 8, but we have no black 8s right now. Another red 7. Queen cannot be placed under this king because she is not of the opposite color. A jack. A six. A king. A five. Then you have a four. Then you have a six. Jack, once again, it must be one rank lower and of the opposite color. Um, and so we're getting pretty unlucky here. Let's place that three when we can. We got a ace of diamonds. Now that opens up more possibilities. We have six. We cannot place that anywhere. And red eight. You can place that right there. Five. We place that right there. A four of the opposite color, one rank lower, we can place it right there. A four, one rank lower of the opposite color, we have no fives. A ten, nope, we cannot place it. A seven, it cannot be, as it can be placed right there. A two of hearts can be placed on that pile. Now we have a three of hearts that can also be placed on that pile. Do we have a four of hearts? We have a four of hearts right there. If we move this three right there, then we have four of hearts. Four of hearts. Where's our five of hearts? It's hard to see. Doesn't look like we have a five of hearts anywhere here. Or a two of spades. Or a two of diamonds. A seven. An eight. An eight. A jack, a three, a nine, a two of diamonds. Now, do we have a three of diamonds anywhere here? No, we do not. And so I may be missing some, um, but I think you essentially get the gist of it. Um, it's not really beneficial to continue going forever and ever. Uh, but I think you sort of get a gist of how to play here just by watching this quick demo. And so just a quick recap of the rules. You will need two 52 card decks. You have to shuffle the two decks together and you lay out a row of, of 10 cards face down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You add two rows of face down cards on the first row. So this is the second row, and then this is the third row. The fourth row of cards are pla placed face up, as you can see here. Well, there would be a card here if we were just starting the game out. The remaining deck is kept below the row layout. The objective of the game is to move all the cards into the foundation piles. There will be eight foundation piles above the row layout. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Each foundation pile starts with an eight, starts with an ace and climbs up to a king. Each pile has to be in the same suit. During the game, cards can be moved around in three ways. A card can be moved to the foundation pile. Cards can be stacked within rows if the card being moved is one rank lower and an opposite color suit of the card being stacked on. For example, 
A black 6 can be placed on a red 7 because it is one rank lower and of the opposite color. Or you can flip the top card of the deck and you can place it on either the foundation pile or uh, in your rows. A card that is flipped up from the deck can be played onto the layout of your rows or onto a foundation pile when possible. And then once again, if a face down card in the layout becomes open, it is flipped up. A face down card in the layout becomes open when no cards are on top of it, then it is flipped up. A player will continue to move cards to foundation piles, move cards within the layout, or move cards from the deck. If a player is able to move all the cards into the foundation piles, the game is won. If a player gets stuck with no moves available, the game is lost. If an open space becomes available within the layout, any card can fill that open space. For example, if these two cards here uh, were both uh, moved to another uh, portion of the layout or into the foundation piles, this would be a blank column right here. Then any card from here or here or here would be able to be placed in that spot. The top card of the waste pile can always be moved if possible. You turn the waste pile back over and, and you flip it over when your deck runs out. That wraps up how to play Emperor Solitaire.